I am standing with Dr. Yibing Wong, the inventor of the Vima formula. And uh, we call him Dr. Y, though. It's a little more endearing. But uh, Dr. Y, I, I thought this would be a great opportunity to be able to get the members all the way around the world uh, a little sneak peek behind the scenes at, at how this Vima formula actually winds up in a bottle. To make sure we have a great product, uh, we start with the raw materials. So the raw materials are uh, pre-blended and kitted before it was shipped to the manufacturing facility. And here we stage it, we get ready to blend. Now the nice thing about it is, is we have raw materials literally coming in from all parts of the world. And it's important that the team knows that every time Vima is run, you're on site. And, and every time Verb is run, either you're on site or somebody from your team is on site. And so we have complete quality assurance all the way through every process of it. But let's take the team through a little bit of the process and, and uh, uh, talk to them about how this actually winds up on their doorstep. And I guess it all starts right here, doesn't it? Exactly. And, and what, are we, what are we standing in front of? Uh, this is a high share mixer that would, uh, can maxima uh, maximize the uh, efficiency of a blending without introducing extra oxygen or air into the product. Now, now why is that important? Why, why is oxygen? You don't want to add extra oxygen. Well, oxygen can oxidize the ingredients, like vitamins. We don't want to introduce any free radicals into the product itself. So by doing this, we minimize that effect so that we can have a great product to start with. To do, and you, and you make Vima in batches, to do a batch, how long does it take in the blending process? It takes about five hours to, to make a batch. Five hours. Yes. And a batch is how many bottles? A batch is about 27,000, but uh, and we do two batches side by side, so each time we do at least 55,000. So every batch is about 27,000 bottles. It takes five hours just to prepare the formula to go into the bottling process. Exactly. Great. Okay, so the so the process comes through. It goes through the uh, through the, the the lines at 34 degrees. Um, tell me a little bit about this this special flash pasteurization process that we all hear so much about and the importance of it. Well, the, uh, the products started with high quality, but we want to make sure the products is super clean before they go into the uh, the bottles. So we use this uh, uh, flash pasteurization process uh, for only 2.55 seconds, and then it. Uh, uh, basically kills all the microbes and uh, keep the products fresh and clean. The environment is uh, microbe-free, it's a septic environment. The air in the filling room is through HEPA filter, super clean air. And the uh, product... So it's actually, the, the, the filling process is actually done in a special chamber? It, yes, exactly. And in a chamber, the air is, is sterile air, bottles are sterilized, the caps are sterilized, the products are clean. And the shrink wrapping process, I think, is pretty cool. As you know, these white bottles are coming down with their orange lids on the on the line, and then the labels come on there, and then it goes through a, a steam tunnel. Yes, it goes through a steam tunnel to make sure the labels are applied evenly uh, on the bottles. It's very impressive. And, and during this whole process, tell me the, the you know you, you talk, talk to us a little bit about the QA QC procedures that go on you know, before the raw materials are actually blended together. But then tell me the, about the Q, uh, quality control processes that go on during the manufacturing process. Well, during the bottling process, we take the bottles uh, every 15 minutes and we test for pH breaks, hydrated uh, acids. Um, so to make every sure- Every 15 minutes every you do a quality minutes, control yeah, test. Yeah, we pull samples. So you just pull a sample off the line. When the, pri the products arrive in our warehouse, we do again, uh, an extensive quality control. Uh, so you quarantine them? We quarantine them and we put samples again randomly and we test for the samples for pH breaks, uh, titrated acid, also microbial uh, contents to make sure the product is all clean and ready to safe to be uh, used. Well, all of this is really impressive, and, and team, I hope you appreciate the levels of, of quality assurances that Dr. Wise team has put into place to make sure that we're delivering you the best product that gets the best results for your, uh, for your members and customers and loved ones. Uh, Dr. Wise, thank you very much. Keep up the great work. Even I learned something new today. Thank you, Pete. All right.